Hey everyone, I'm Jarek. Have you ever felt left out like everyone else has something you don't? Uh, did I miss something? In Comics Cafe today, both Mason and Mrs. Kirby were talking about feeling left out. Last year, no matter how many goals I scored, I felt like I never got the respect that I truly deserved. And Mrs. Kirby said something really important about God's plan. I'd say church is for everyone because God's plan is for everyone. But if he bullies people, then how can he be part of God's plan? Like Bree and Taylor, you might wonder, how does that work really? God doesn't leave anyone out of his plan. And how do you get to be a part of God's plan? Does it depend on how good you are, what you do, or where you're from? To find out, let's look at the story Mrs. Kirby was about to tell. The story of a woman named Ruth. Ruth had just moved a long way from her home in Moab to the country of Israel. Oh, hello. I'm Ruth. I'm new to the land of Israel. My mother-in-law needed some help, so I moved here. It really is a lovely place. God had chosen the people of Israel for a special purpose, but some of the Israelites thought that that meant God only cared about them and not about people like Ruth. Yeah, God made us a promise, not them. I do feel left out sometimes. I don't have a family, except for my mother-in-law. I don't have much money. I have to gather grain that's left over on the ground every day just to eat. If you asked someone back then, who do you think is going to be a part of God's plan? They might have said... Uh, like everyone from Israel? God chose us to be his people, after all. What about Ruth? Ruth? She has barely any family, no money, and can barely survive. No way. Plus, she looks nothing like us. Besides, she's from Moab. They, like, worship idols and don't even know God. That's true. I didn't learn about God until recently. But the more I learn about him, the more I want to follow him. Ruth did follow God. She trusted him, no matter how bad things got. She chose to do what God said, instead of following the made-up gods from Moab. And Ruth didn't know it, but God was going to do something amazing through her. Check this out. Ruth married someone in Israel, and she became the mother of Obed, and Obed became the father of Jesse, and Jesse became the father of King David, the greatest king Israel ever had. And it doesn't even stop there. A long, long time later, Ruth's great, 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 actually, that'd be 27 greats, so I'll just say great, great grandson was born. And his name was Jesus. God chose Ruth someone who had almost nothing to be an ancestor of Jesus. Why? Did she, like, win a contest or something? No. Ruth was faithful to God. But God didn't choose her because she was perfect. Here's what I think we can learn from Ruth's story. God's plan is for everyone. Someone doesn't have to look like us or act like us or be perfect to be part of God's plan. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Every person we meet is someone God knows, loves, and has a plan for. Even people who don't look or act like we expect. In a moment, we'll find out if that changes how Taylor and Bree see Mason or not. 